All right, y'all, so honestly, by the end of this video, you might think I'm a little bit crazy, but the truth of the matter is, I took a cold shower for 30 days, and this video is going to tell you my journey and how it went, so stay tuned. <laughs> By the way, my name is Gabe Kemsey and this is my channel. If this is your very first time tuning in, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell notification thing so you can get updated on videos that I do. So right now I'm actually in downtown Silver Spring. You can check it out behind me. And the reason why I'm walking in the cold right now is because I forgot my card at a lounge yesterday. So I'm heading back to that lounge to go pick it up. I called earlier yesterday, did have it, which I'm thankful for. So I'm just gonna go pick it up before somebody else does. So first of all, what possessed me to even wanna do this, right? What kind of person wants to take cold showers? Now, let me start off by saying I hate the cold. Like I really cannot stand the cold. Like it's winter time right now. I take hot showers, always have, always will. And the thought of even me taking cold showers was like an impossibility up until a month ago. But the reason why I decided to even take cold showers in the first place is because I created this challenge called the Best Self Challenge. I basically looked at, you know, really successful people, people that are just accomplishing great things, uh, entrepreneurs, CEOs, just people that are like living the, their best, lives and these types of people have um, certain habits and qualities and uh, skills that they've grown over the years and habits that they've built so I took these habits and I threw it together in a challenge and my goal was to accomplish all of these things every day for 30 days minus Sunday so one of those things was taking cold showers now why once again would you want to take cold showers so apparently there's a lot of good health benefits for taking cold showers. Like it increases weight loss. It helps with stress reduction. It helps with depression. It helps with increasing your circulation. It helps to flush your lymph nodes. It helps to so many other things. Like it helps increase testosterone levels. One of the biggest reasons and one of the biggest benefits that I received was it helps with your mental toughness. It helps with your ability to get out of your comfort zone and your ability to do something even though you don't want to do it, even though you know it's going to suck, but to do it anyways. And that is a muscle that it helped me build over the last 30 days. So let me tell y'all a little bit about how I actually did it. One, I did not just walk into a cold shower. I think that's crazy. I'm not there yet. I know there's some people that do it and I know there's like more, even more benefits to doing that because you're like allowing yourself to just you know, take that torture and there's, you know, probably benefits, but I'm not there yet. And if you're just getting started or if you're a beginner like me, I do not recommend that you do because you're not gonna enjoy it and you're not gonna be able to do it consistently enough to make it a habit unless you're just somebody that is just a beast and can do that. But like I said, I'm not there yet. So this is what you do. This is how you do it, right? Or at least this is how I did it. What you wanna do is you wanna start off taking a regular shower. Start off taking a hot shower or a warm shower, or whatever. I like my water hot, so I take a hot shower and I take a regular shower. Now, tip, don't think about the cold shower coming up, all right? Because you're not gonna enjoy the shower. You're gonna be like stressing out. It's just not fun. Like just for, for a minute, just forget about it. Forget you're even gonna do it. Just take your, cold, your hot shower and just, you know, everything's fine. Everything's normal, everything's cool. After you take your hot shower, your regular temperature shower, what you wanna do is you wanna slowly, gradually turn the water colder and colder. Now, what is cold? There's different levels of cold. When I was doing my research, they recommend that you don't do this during the winter time because this is when the water is like really cold, super cold, and it's not good to start off as beginners. But lo and behold, it's winter time. So I ended up doing it anyways. You wanna just start to slowly turn the water from warm to cold. Now there are different levels, right? The first level is like, it feels good cold, right? It's slightly cold, just slightly but it feels good. I could take a shower like this 
honestly. Like, yeah, sure, it could be a little bit harder, but I can do this and be fine. All right, so that's stage number one. Stage number two is lukewarm. So it's slightly less than warm, but it's not cold yet. So then there is stage three. Stage three is when things start to get a little bit interesting because this is where the water starts to get cold and this is where you want to start incorporating your breathing. You don't want to like tense up in the shower, like, ah, like you don't want to do that. You know, you want to practice good breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, right? And you want to do that consistently, okay? You don't want to hold your breath, don't do that. Or like try and pop a blood vessel. You don't want to do all that, you know, but this is where things start to get cold. So this is where tip number two comes in, which is you want to begin to start to like rub your body. Like don't just stand in the water and let the water like hit you. You kind of, you want to like rub your body like while you're doing it. And this I found helps. Now I found this out last, like later on, maybe like day 15 or so, I started to find this out, but it really does help. So what you want to do is you want to expose all parts of your body to the cold. Run it down your head, turn around, let it hit your back, let it hit your underarms, but you want to like kind of rub your body while you're doing this. This helps so much. I'm telling you guys, this helps a lot if you uh, attempt to even do this and you're crazy like me. All right, so the final two stages, things get even more interesting and this is where you begin to test how far you want to go. Now, if this is your very, very first time, I would say for the first, couple days this is where you want to stop you don't want to you don't have to do it super cold in the very beginning you really just don't like if you get to this point patch up on the back you made it right now and like i said you want to consistently grow to get colder and colder but if you reach this point after your first couple days then you're good consider that self a win but as you keep on doing it right let's say like day four or five when you're about ready to like turn it up or turn it down, I should say. This is where you want to now move it to stage four. All right, this is like just between this sucks and I don't wanna do it and it's cold. <laughs> this is where the mental toughness starts to come in, all right? When you set this to stage four, you wanna be in the water. You wanna aim to be in it for 20 seconds. If you can only do five, cool. If you can do 10, fine. But your goal is to get to 20 seconds and hold it for 20 seconds. And you wanna do this for a couple days, I'll say like a week or two. Now, this is the beginner like level training, all right guys? Like some people might say, jump in, you wanna be all the way cold by day two. Nah, man, I took my time with this. I took my time and you should too, especially if you're just new to this because this is about building that habit and it's a good habit to build and you're not gonna wanna build it if you scare yourself from doing it. Starting too quick and going too cold too fast will scare you from doing this. Once you get past this and you've done this for, uh, um, I say a week or two, this is where you wanna push it and go to stage five, right? And stage five is cold. How cold does your shower get cold? Now, depending on where you're at, the time of year, all that kind of stuff, this can change, this can vary, which is why you shouldn't attempt this during the winter time. But if you're a bowl like me and you, want, and you did that, then this is where you push it to the limit. And this sucks until it does it. It's the weirdest, feeling it's the weirdest it's the weirdest sensation because it sucks but then as you're letting the water hit you your body begins to get used to it and before you know it you just start to get a little bit used to it all right i'm just getting to the spot now where i left my card so i'm about to grab it real quick and then continue this video <laughs> So, if you reach this part, then this is where you can start to build up your tolerance. I didn't get to stage five till like maybe the last five days of my challenge, like till day 25 to 30. And the first time I only did it for like two and a half seconds, literally. But there was one time, there was one day though that I was able to do it for like 20 seconds. And then the next day or the following day, I was able to do it for like 30 seconds. And then right when you can hit 20 to 30 seconds, you reach this point where it's like, okay, let's see how far I can go. And that's where you wanna get to. Now, 
This takes time, guys. Like I said, it took me 30 days to get to this point. So most people say that all you really need is like 20 seconds, which is why I say 20 seconds. If you can go a minute or two minutes or longer, that's the sweet spot. But 20 seconds is fine. If you can hit 20 seconds, you're gonna get enough exposure to the cold to get the benefits, all right, y'all? So, so anyways, guys, that's really the process for how you start to take cold showers. And I'm telling you, the rush that you get after the shower, like when you get out of the shower is weird, like in a good way, in a really good way. Like you just feel like you accomplished something. You feel like you can literally feel your body like revving up and like starting to warm up. By the way, you should also try not to towel dry, try to air dry as much as possible because that's what helps your body temperature to rise. And as your body temperature rises uh, to warm you back up, that's where the uh, fat metabolism and like the fat loss benefits come in. So as much as you can try to air dry and, but even it's not hard because you're already in the cold. So when you come out, it's, it feels good. And you just feel like a surge of energy. It's so weird. It's hard to explain, but I'm telling you guys, when you're able to do it, especially when you hit the stage four, stage five, and you're able to be in that cold water for at least 20 seconds to a minute, you really start to feel it. And it's an incredible feeling, y'all. Um, you can, you really just have to experience it for yourself. Anyways, y'all, that's gonna be the end of this video. So do I recommend cold showers? Yes. Uh, and if you do do the cold shower, follow this process. This is like a super beginner process that I followed. And if I can do this, then it's definitely doable. Will it suck in the beginning? Yes. And it's crazy because this is where the mental toughness comes in. And it's so powerful because it really helps you. This bleeds into other areas of your life. If you can man up or woman up to take a cold shower every day, it does wonders for your mindset. And it really helps you to get past all that other bull that you might tell yourself when you don't want to do something or you want to, or you don't want to get out of your comfort zone this helps with that so tremendously and you're gonna feel so good when you accomplish it so i highly recommend that you guys to try it try it you might not have to do it for 30 days do it for a week do it for five days you know what i mean but do it and see how you feel let me know in the comment section below if you do try it, or if maybe you've had experience with cold showers let me know in the comment section as well i would love to hear your guys experience any tips that you guys might have with that being said my name is gabe kemsey once again make sure you like this video if you got value from it don't forget to subscribe to the page and also don't forget to follow me on instagram and all my other social media platforms so that you can stay up to date with more videos that i do regarding to mindset entrepreneurship building businesses online and the work so you guys have an amazing day and I'll catch y'all on the next video.